How to Use the Allyship Spectrum. Redbud Resource Group offers a variety of resource tools to help you go beyond land acknowledgements. One of these resource tools is called the Allyship Spectrum. Some of you may be familiar with the Allyship Spectrum from attending Redbud's Going Beyond Land Acknowledgements public or private workshops. The goal of the spectrum is to guide you or your organization to understand how your actions and decisions impact Native communities. The spectrum also serves as a goal setting tool that can help you and your organization create an informed plan for improving relationships with Native communities. How do you use the allyship spectrum? Let's get started. The allyship spectrum is made up of four types of levels or actions. Reading the spectrum from the bottom up, you will see enabling erasure, next, first steps to land acknowledgement, then educated action, and finally, at the top, impactful action. Sometimes in our personal and professional lives, we do not realize how our actions impact Native communities and ecosystems. Some actions are empowering, while others can be extremely harmful. Using the allyship spectrum to organize your actions and reprioritize your goals can help you become a more aware and supportive community member. Let's take a closer look at the different types of actions on the allyship spectrum, beginning with enabling erasure. These actions are rooted in stereotypes and or racism and perpetuate the oppression of Native peoples. They may even ignore the existence and sovereignty of local Native communities or nations. Example, our work celebrates the history of our state or region, but does not mention the history or existence of Native people. Next on the spectrum is first steps to acknowledgement. These types of actions are basic actions that help you recognize and acknowledge the existence of Native peoples. Example, our organization requires all employees to give a pre-written land acknowledgement before every staff meeting. The next level on the spectrum is educated action. These actions involve educating oneself and others about the strengths challenges, and needs of the Native community with the goal of creating equity. Examples. All new employees learn about the ways our organization's work intersects with the Native community. And our organization creates opportunities for local Native people to share their own stories and experiences in relation to our work. Finally, at the top of the spectrum is impactful action. These types of actions create structural or systematic changes that support tribal sovereignty and that help to redistribute land, power, and resources back to Native communities and ecosystems. Examples, our organization now requires tribal consultation when dealing with matters that impact local Native communities and governments, and our organization has a land rematriation goal in our strategic plan. The allyship spectrum is meant to help you or your organization reevaluate your actions with Native communities and serves as a guide as you continue your work. It is okay if you find yourself doing multiple types of actions at any given time. Just make sure you are not doing any actions from the enabling erasure category. You or your organization want to align your actions as closely to the impactful action category as much as possible. Where to find the allyship spectrum? To find the allyship spectrum, go to the Redbud Resource Group website. Then go to the Going Beyond Land Acknowledgements tab at the top of the page. Scroll down to Access Gibla Resource Library here. Once you're on the resource database page, scroll down again to find Redbud's tools for going beyond land acknowledgement. Once you have located the allyship spectrum on our website, you can download a printable copy. We have also provided a blank spectrum for you or your organization to brainstorm examples of goals or actions. Use the spectrum to evaluate and measure these goals and actions and see where they fit. We hope you make use of Redbud's allyship spectrum on a regular basis and make it a part of your Going Beyond Land Acknowledgements Goal Setting Toolkit.